I'm going to show you how to make some uh, steamed rice uh, without having to use any measurements. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, in this bowl, uh, I've got uh, just uh, any amount of rice and uh, some hot water. And it's been soaking for the past hour and a half. Uh, and I've also added some salt to it. And you only need to just cover the rice just a bit more than, uh, than, the, than the level of rice with water. And once you've got it covered, just let it sit for an hour and a half, uh, just to let it soak. Um, that's gonna be just for the basic rice. And my rice today that I'm gonna be making is gonna have uh, some black-eyed beans or peas or whatever you call it, these ones here. Uh, and uh, these are gonna go inside uh, the rice. And I'm also using some uh, dried dill. And in this bowl here, I've just got some sliced potatoes about half a centimeter thick. Uh, and I'm going to show you what you do with them uh, in a minute. Over here on the stove, I've got a uh, pot of boiling water. I'm just going to remove the excess of the uh, of the water. I'm just going to decant it into the sink. Just remove all the excess. By the way, this rice hasn't been washed. I don't wash my rice. I like the starch. Um, and even with the starch in the uh, in the rice in the water it doesn't get all stodgy and stuck together with this technique. And I'll show you how to do that. So after I've decanted the water, I'm just going to go over to the pot of uh, boiling water that I've got on the stove. And that just goes straight in there. I'm also going to wash the bottle, the, the bowl, get all of that rice out. it all out and then you bring that up to boil you bring that up to boil and you, we're going to bring that up to boil uh, and let it boil for about uh, five minutes and what happens is the uh, the grains they extend in size uh, and then uh, once we have uh, boiled them uh, I'm going to strain them off and uh, and at that point, we're going to have the beans and the dill, and the potatoes come at the end. It gets a little crispy bottom uh, when we uh, when we steam them, and I'll show you how to do that. But for the time being, that's going to boil, and we'll come back when uh, when that's done. Thank you. So if you look closely over here, the rice has um, it's not quite ready yet. It's about two minutes into this boil, but uh, if you look closely. It started to extend and you can sort of see the grains, the uh, uncooked parts in the middle, the whites are uh, still showing. We're not looking to, to see that the white is completely gone, we're just looking to extend the size of the rice. This is a uh, long grain rice, a basmati rice, uh, and that's the kind that you're looking for. You don't want to go for a medium grain or a short grain going for a long grain rice here and we're just going to keep boiling this uh, for a couple more minutes and uh, we'll come back when it's done. We're going to uh, strain this uh, rice out now, turn the heat right low and we're just going to go over to the sink where I've got the colander and it's just going to go straight in there, we're done with that. You want to get every little grain of rice out of it. And if there's one or two bits of pieces in there, that's okay. That's okay. That pot goes back on the sink. This then is your basic rice to uh, the basic white rice that uh, will get you a. Um, it'll get you a nice clean. Um, nice and clean uh, rice grains uh, that aren't sort of stuck together. And what you do with this is you, in your pot, you uh, put a little bit of oil at the bottom of your pot. And once that's dried up, all the water is evaporated. Then the rice just goes directly back in there uh, and gets covered with a tight fitting lid. And then uh, you leave that for as low as you can go on the lowest setting on your on your stove, 
and you leave that for uh, 40 minutes or 45 minutes or so, depending on the amount of rice. If you have a little bit of less rice, then uh, put it for about 25 minutes or so, 30 minutes. I'm going to be adding, and this is the point that you want to add your uh, additives. As I said, I've got some uh, dried dill and some, uh, some of those black eyed beans, and they're just going to go straight in there. These have been cooked from frozen. These have been cooked previously. They were dried, and I store them uh, in a in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. Uh, and these just go in there as well. Then you get your spoon. You just mix that around. Mix that around. And the technique to get to you only want to mix the top bit. The top layer and then the technique is to just sort of fling it back kind of like a wok toss some more of that some more of the dill some more of the beans I'll put it all in I probably have a bit too much rice here for the amount of beans and dill but that's okay so you mix that around And again, you can see it turns this nice, beautiful shade of green. Just keep going until it's even throughout. Just keep doing that. Go okay, the other way. until it gets every grain of rice is evenly coated with that dill sometimes you might find a little clump that's okay let's break it up and then when you're done with that with your potatoes as I mentioned we're going to get rid of the water with the potatoes Lost one, that's okay. And we'll just dry them as well. You don't want to put them uh, wet in the. You don't want to put them wet in the uh, oil. It'll spatter, and they won't uh, cook. So what we're looking, to, what we're aiming for here, is. A crispy, uh, crispy potato, and what this does is it protects the rice from the bottom. It also gives you a, uh, it also gives you a uh, delicious treat. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some oil in the bottom of the pan. Some oil in there. Potatoes, just neatly put them in. And what's going to happen is the rice gets in between the bits and the um, gets in between the potatoes, and it creates a uh, a layer of crispiness. That's too hot, so I'm going to move it to a smaller stove. On a low heat. And the rice is just going to go straight in. So the rice just goes straight in.
That's okay if you don't you don't get it all out of the uh, colander. That's okay. What you want to do is you just want to don't compact it. Is just push it down just enough so that the lid can uh, can go over it. Now there is this trick to use a towel around the lid. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to put the lid straight on on the lowest setting. And that's going to go for uh, for about 40 minutes. And uh, when it's all cooked, when it's ready, um, we'll come back then and we'll serve it. It's been about an hour and uh, looks like the rice is a little bit ready. You can tell when the steam is collected inside inside the pot with the glass lid. Um, you don't want to get that water back down in there. That's what the tea towel originally was for that I was talking about before. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the rice. This is it. When you open it, you should get a big puff of steam. And uh, that's it. That's the rice that you're looking for. If you look, if you notice, it's not clumping together. It doesn't clump together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some uh, some butter, and the butter just. Uh, It, get, it gets rid of the dryness out of the uh, out of the rice and just makes it a bit more moist again. Too much. That'll do. And then what you do is you just fold that in. You don't want to spend too much time because the rice is very fragile. You don't want to spend a lot of time playing around with the rice. You know, avoid that at all. If at all possible, you can bury the butter if you like. Bury it; it'll melt on its own. And then what you do? Just grab a serving spoon, and that's it. Don't want the butter. That's it. Beautiful plate of rice.